Hello, my name is Katerina Valkov and you're watching Weekly World Climate Change News. Brazilian President Bolsonaro angrily rejected $22 million international aid offered by the G7 this week as fire burning in the Amazon continued to wreak havoc in the rainforest. He accused other countries of trying to take Brazil's sovereignty through investments and aid in the Amazon. He, however, seemed to walk back some of his sentiments, accepting an offer of $12 million in aid from Britain and saying he would consider taking the G7 money if French President Emmanuel Macron withdrew insults made against him. He also announced that South American countries will meet next week to discuss the Amazon Basin fires. The young activist has just arrived in New York after crossing the Atlantic on a carbon-free yacht in order to participate in the UN summit on zero emissions next month. Credit Thunberg arrived in a zero-carbon yacht to deliver a message about tackling global warming. Upon her arrival, she was met with a large crowd of people welcoming and cheering her on. She will travel to Chile next, although it is still unknown how she will return back home since she refuses to use heavily fossil fuel flights. Nine conservations from the non-profit Persian Wildlife Heritage Foundation, who had embarked on an authorized project to monitor the critically endangered Asiatic cheetahs, were arrested last year by the Iranian government on accusations of espionage as scientific research faces increasing criminalization in Iran. The foundation's chairman, Kavo Syed Emami, died shortly after his arrest, while four of the team members may be facing death penalty and the others up to 10 years imprisonment. World Water Week kicked off this week in the shadow of a frightening reality that nearly a quarter of the world's population is living under extreme water stress, and in just five years, half the world's population will live in water stress regions in light of the pressing need to replenish the world's clean water systems. The 29th annual World Water Week started in Stockholm. The event, which aims to draw the world's attention to water-related challenges around the world, is hosted by the Stockholm International Water Institutes and supported by United Nations Water Programme. Researchers at the Barclay Lab have predicted a major decline in Alaskan evergreen conifer trees 25% and herbaceous plants such as moss and lichen 66% and a significant increase in the dishes broadleaf trees which lost their leaves every year. The change in Alaskan forest composition in a warmer climate could result in ecological and climate changes which could, in turn, significantly modify the carbon cycle and amplify the effects of climate warming. Climate change is increasing the number of days of extreme heat and decreasing the numbers of days with extreme cold in Europe, posing a risk for residents in the coming decades, according to a new study. With temperatures in Europe hitting record-breaking heights, climate scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich have authored a new study confirming that some regions of Europe are warming faster than most predicted. The study also confirms that climate warming experience this summer was far too dramatic to be purely due to climate variability. A new research shows that bees are omnivores and microbes make up a necessary part of their diet and they could suffer or starve if microbes are not available for their diet. Researchers are still investigating the causes of microbial decline, although one theory posits that the increased temperatures from climate change decrease microbial symbi symbiotic in the pollen. Bees are already facing many stressors, including habitat loss and pesticide use, and this new research shows how important it is to consider that microbial in climate research. New Zealand has banned tourists from swimming with bottlenose dolphins in an effort to save the species. The endangered bottlenose dolphin has declined in numbers and interaction with humans and boats are decreasing them from the behavior vital to their survival, such as taking care of their young. Researchers found that 75% of baby bottlenose dolphins die before adulthood, increasing from 52% in 2009. The British Geological Survey reported a large 2.9 Richter tremor related to fracking activity near Blackpool, UK on Monday. This took place near the UK's only active fracking site less than two days after a previously record-breaking tremor at the Codrilla Energy Facility. The Oil and Gas Authority has suspended all activity at the site while it investigates whether current hydraulic fracking operations and mitigations are appropriate to manage the risk of induced seismicity at the Preston New Road site. Campaign group Friends of the Earth has also called for a complete freckling ban after three large tremors on site in the last week. You were watching Weekly World Climate Change News. We hope you will join us next week.